And welcome, everybody, to the, to the program today. We're so excited to have you. Uh, uh, you know, we, we're out of the studio for a few weeks, and then we come back in, and, and I feel like, man, hey, we're back. But to you out there, we're on every week just like normal. But uh, we get a little excited when we start our first show that we record for you here. And we want to welcome you, those of you that are listening via the radio. We want to welcome you to the show today. You can't see us, but you know what? You can if you'd like. You can go to prophecyinthespotlight.com. And uh, real simple, prophecyinthespotlight.com, and you can find our YouTube channel, the Rumble channel, Facebook page, emails, phone numbers, everything's right. The, the bookstore is there, so we want to make sure you know about that. Now, now those of you that are already here, uh, welcome you to you as well. We have several hundred, uh, even sometimes in the thousands, of people who watch the YouTube channel. Doc, today we got a... A really kind of a taboo subject we're going to talk about. Yeah, but about. it's very timely, and I think uh, it needs to be addressed. We're going to talk about transgenderism. Yeah. It's one of those isms. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of isms out there. This this is a bad one. I guess they all kind of are, but this, are. this one is... Uh, this is one I bet you never dreamed in your lifetime that you'd ever see what we're well, seeing. I never thought about anything like what we're seeing and what I'm fearful we're going to yet see. Yeah. And of course, uh, how do we define transgenderism? It's, how, how is that defined? In, is it even in the dictionary? I'm sure. I, I know it's in uh, that whatever you get it on the internet, WikiLeaks or whatever. Oh, Wik Wikipedia? Wikipedia. WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in the leaks, you know. Yeah. But no. Uh, and they talk about it, and they, if you Google it, you'll discover they will tell you that it's tied to ancient, mystical teachings and religion. You know, I have never seen that. I, yeah. uh, I just read it last night and, and just to see what they had to say about it. And uh, Well, but, if uh, I get you talking about something, I, yeah. may, I may look that up for myself here. <laughs> well, we need, to read the, we need to read what God has to say right, about so, it. So what does God... You, you can look that up. What, get, yeah, so what, why do we words, care what God has to say? In other words, is it biblical... And uh, so transgenderism has something to do with being able to switch genders yep. or, mm -hmm. or, or somebody. Yeah. You know, really, the crux of this whole thing, Doc, is if you're, you cannot be a Bible believer, you cannot be a, a Christian who's walking with the Lord, that, believing the truth. Now, that's, that's and, the catchphrase because we have a lot, quote unquote, Christians that go outside of their Bible right. in order to be relevant to society. And, and some but, of them are, are genuinely yeah. saved. I don't, I don't, I'm not questioning. But the greater are, majority of them, I'm not convinced that they're saved. Of course, Christian, as far as the world goes, is a, is a general term. Oh, yes. You're either, you're either atheist, Muslim, Jewish, or Christian. Yeah, I mean, in their estimation. Yeah, and yeah, know, in some, other words, Catholicism to them yeah. is Christian. Yeah, I told a gentleman yesterday in a conversation, I, I, honestly, I do not believe that truly born-again people today on planet Earth make up 1% yeah, of the 9 billion people on the planet. Yeah, and you've mentioned that um, in, in a show, and we've had people question that on YouTube. Yeah. That's why I wanted you to make that clear. Um, because the, the, the term Christian, yeah. I mean, all of Rome, all of Italy is Christian, but they're Catholic. Yeah. But it, see, the world calls that Christianity. That's why you've got to always... Go through the lens of the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Um, but again, let let's be clear here as well. Christians have to choose to live right. Christians oh, yes. have to grow mm -hmm. in grace, and yeah. a lot of Christians don't grow. A lot of Christians get away from God. That doesn't mean they're not saved. They're not living it, and and they're not Christ-like. True, but if a person is going to take any subject that is counter the Bible and then make it their life's agenda to push against what the Bible has said, there's great reason to question sure. their salvation. Yeah. And I think most of the quote-unquote, the worldly Christians out there, they just, they don't even realize they're going against the Bible. They don't know the Bible. No. They, they're, they're what 1 Corinthians 3 would call yep. saved, yet so is by fire. That's true. They're someone who got saved maybe at a young age or maybe at a meeting they went to. They got and saved. They've not grown, but nobody, not nobody dis discipled them. Nobody helped them grow. And there's a great number, no doubt, of those. Yeah. And so Probably just, more of those than there are those that yeah. are dedicated. Uh, hey, 
the, the, the Great Commission is threefold. That's right. Get them saved, mm -hmm. get them into the church, yep. and we won't deal with that. That's You and I have mm -hmm. our, we understand yeah. what we believe mm -hmm. by that, and nobody else agrees. But And then number three, the hard part. Is training. Training, discipling. discipling them. Yes. Yeah. That's the Preparing hard part. Preparing them for a Christian And I think journey. that's where we're failing in a lot of our oh, I, areas. I'm convinced, and we failed at it for many, many years. And I think a this lot. This is why we're where we are in Christendom today. I think a lot of preachers and Christian workers, I hate to, I hate to pick on preachers all the time because we are preachers, but I think we, we get discouraged. I think we look at someone and they, they don't change quick yeah. enough or they don't live. We get yeah. mad at them. We throw yeah. them under the bus after we well, live the Lord. We, we fail to give the Holy Spirit the opportunity to do the work. But the Holy Spirit can only work in a life through the Word of God. Right. Yeah. And uh, this subject we're talking about today, I think, though, is uh, truly those that are walking with the Lord cannot help but see something major is happening in this pagan world yeah. around us that's what, major and what i wanted to point out i don't believe that a bible believing christian can believe in these things no because you're getting into evolution you're getting into all kinds yes. of crazy stuff you get in other words god didn't create us like we thought he did and we don't even know what you know we can choose our yeah. gender we can change our gender yeah. we can mutilate our bodies and it's uh, an impossibility you can't be a bible believer yeah. and follow that stuff you you cannot change the chromosomes that you got yeah. at the moment of conception you're yeah. not changing yeah. that and that goes back to evolution too you can't be an evolutionist and a bible believer no they, they don't fit together they don't fit at all yeah not if you believe Bible's account. Read so let me read Genesis. Genesis one, and we'll uh, because here here's what the Bible says about yes. man, men and women. Um, God said, "Let us." Verse, this is chapter one of Genesis, in verse twenty six. By the way, you want to know truth? Start go back to Genesis. Yes, sir. Genesis will have something. It's the foundation about, of it all. It sure will. And uh, and God said in verse twenty six, "Let us." By the way, there's the Trinity. Let us. Yeah, God right. is the Trinity yep. is speaking here. Mm -hmm. Let us make man in our image, our, that's Trinity, mm -hmm. plural, yep. after our likeness, and let them have dominion, he's talking about man, have dominion over the fish, over the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Then verse 27, so God created man in his own image, mm -hmm. in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. There yes. it is. Yes. God created male and he created female. And he goes on to tell how he made the woman's body. But uh, yes, and uh, the Bible is very clear. And uh, people say, well, this transgender movement in our world today and, and the confusion of young people, we need to understand this is one of the last phases, no doubt, of the pagan world setting a stage for the tribulation world. Yeah. And here's what God said uh, uh, in the book of Romans, Paul's writing, I'm convinced here. And he said uh, in verse uh, 21, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish hearts were darkened, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And he goes on three more times talking about God giving them over or giving them up until the last phase, and you get over uh, a little further to the end of the chapter there, God no longer gives them up to the next stage in this devolving yeah. until he finally just gives them over to a reprobate mind. Isn't this all part of the sodomite movement anyway? Yes. For a, a, a boy to become a girl, uh, I don't know. It's, I don't, I don't well, here's think the thing, it. Dan. <laughs> What people need to understand, I hope our viewers understand this, what you're watching is a world, pagan world. You're watching the pagan world return to Shinar, just exactly like, I, like uh, Ezekiel, not Ezekiel, uh, I'm trying Jeremiah? to think of uh, Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 5, Zechariah. the seventh vision. He, he, he said it's, it's a movement back to Shinar, to its roots. What people need to understand is the entire world, pagan world, is returning to the worship of the ancient gods that just came into the thinking of man on this side of the flood. 
You can trace it all the way back to the Sumerian culture in Nimrod's world. And most of it, if you do a little research, you're going to find out that the majority of all of the ancient gods, whether it's Isitar or Ishus or uh, Isis or um, Anuran, however they pronounce that name, all of them were seen as a transgender individual. Yeah, they, they both male and you, female. Right. Somehow or another, in their in their in their mysterious teaching, uh, you you look at you look at the Greek mythicism, the mystics there, and those gods. You you'll find these all, to, but they they'll all be half back animal, to or they'll be male and female. Yeah. yeah. All the same thing. And, and the power of, uh, of Ishtar was to be able at a certain time to be able to cast a spell and cause a man to love a man and a woman to love a woman and have the power to transgender them. Yeah. What you're watching, this is the same thing with the movement that, that ends the life of, uh, of young babies that are not yet on this side of life. We have to be careful what we say, folks, on YouTube. Uh, that is nothing but the worship of Baal. Mm -hmm. The list goes on and on of the, uh, of the heathen movements in our world today that are nothing but the return of the pagan false gods of the ancient times. Now you go to Great Britain, and I've been there. I don't know if you've been there. I've but been Great there. Britain is, they're gone. They're oh. gone. You can't even preach Europe. what you're talking about in, in a no. church there oh, no. without being arrested. Europe is... is so gone. they're ahead of us. And I noticed that when I was there in the Navy, they were like 10 years. I mean, they, they have gone, fallen down into decadence yes. 10 or 15 yeah. years ahead of us. Until they almost put you in jail for thinking. Yeah. And so what, what happened to Great Britain? They threw God out. They threw the Word of God out. You got it. That's what's happening here. Why is America going down this, this terrible because road? We threw the Bible out. We well, let, me read, out. let me read you another verse. Uh, the last verse, it says, or verse 31, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural infections, uh, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Yeah. And we're at a time where that's exactly what's happening, Dan. Yeah. Yeah, and, and our, our, it's not just in America. Yeah, there's a cloud over the whole world because the, the world have re, has rejected God. There, yes. was, there were Christian nations that, that Great Britain reached, Pe and, yeah. and they've, all, they've all thrown God out. And people, say, people say, well, where's the rationale in all this? You've got to understand, lost people who've given themselves over and God's given them up to these steps, they do not have common sense. Common sense is based on Knowing God's word to a certain extent. I ask extent. people this all the time, Doc. I'll say, you know, why is it wrong to commit adultery? Why is it wrong to tell a lie? Why, why is it wrong to steal? Yeah. Well, well, because it's wrong. Well, why? It's wrong because God said it's wrong. God it all goes it. back to the Ten Commandments. It all goes back. Yes, and sir. when you lose that, you lose all morality. Mm -hmm. You lose all, all understanding of what is right and what is wrong. And you become your own God. That's exactly what happened in Genesis 3 with, with Eve. Yes. You'll be as God, knowing good and evil. And that's what happens when you throw the Word of God out. You become your own God. And in Genesis chapter 6, they became vain in their imaginations. Yeah. God destroyed. And Jesus says it was the days of Noah. It's the vain imagination, yeah. the wickedness of the heart. Well, I wish we had more time. Folks, uh, contact us if you need any help with this. But until next time, keep your eyes on them skies.